wrapped around your taxes. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel live at the state capitol. And Brian, this tax plan is actually a big blow to what Governor Sam Brownback has really been fighting for over the past few years. Yeah, that's right, Mike, because those LLC tax exemptions for small businesses, they are gone in this tax plan, and those are marquee to Governor Sam Brownback's tax policy. But this plan still has a long way to go. It has to go through the Senate first before it arrives on the governor, governor's desk, where the threat of a veto awaits. The Kansas House tax plan to fill the state's budget hole passed with 76 yes votes, eight shy of being veto-proof by Governor Brownback. Voting for a tax increase is a little bit scary, but we know how bad it is here, and we know that that is the path to the solution. Governor Brownback isn't so sure. In a late evening Twitter storm Wednesday night, Brownback blasted the plan, one of several tweets saying representatives pledged to raise taxes on the wealthy, but their plan taxes everyday Kansans. It doesn't have have to be this way. The House Tax Plan HB 2178 does increase the tax rate from 4.6 to 5.25 percent for Kansas making $30 to $60,000 a year. It also gets rid of exemptions for LLC businesses, the hallmark of Governor Brownback's policy. We are sending that message to the governor and to the Senate that this is what the people want. So that is, that is what happened today. Now it is all eyes on the Senate. If you'll notice the governor, he proposed Will they block, approve, or amend the House plan, or pass one on their own? And within just the past hour, Senate Democrats attempted to pass their own version of a tax, tax plan. It failed on a vote. So now the Senate will reconvene tomorrow morning where they'll instantly go to caucus to discuss the House plan. That is 2178, and then there will be a floor debate tomorrow. Reporting live in Topeka tonight, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.